We're proud of what this project has become. So here's the monthly recap featuring the distinct moments from every single day of the month. Enjoy. Owen kind of fell down some stairs. Look, you're a new fuck off. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm gonna fucking cry. So there's, there's a guy over here kind of passed out. If he's dead and all these people would be taking selfies with him, they would feel like shit. We have a hero. Will he survive? I wonder if anyone's called the police yet. And I uh, reckon Mighty Season 3 came out. I wanna start eating healthier, but today is my cheat day. It's as if London just kind of slingshotted that thing out of there. Mom! We got something other than Subway, which is kind of like Subway, but a little bit more healthy because these are actually yeah. made. How is your Mars thing? Nice. It's lovely. You little bastard. This <laughs> 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 oh. is Oh! How you doing? Fuck right off! <laughs> <laughs> Your family. Last day at college I have uh, before these holidays. Sit down, you average haired fuck! For some reason it thinks I'm a robot. Do you hit falls and mountains on it? I'm pondering whether I want to get another PS2 again because I can't seem to find my old one. 67 quid. Rehabilitate my childhood. I think that's worth it. I'm gonna go get a PS2. There are millions of boys and girls. I've got everything else. I'm in the process of tidying my room and. Oh, how I have missed you. So I put on the pedestrians all hate you and they all hate each other. Mm. Gee, they seem like nice people. Look, look at that. They're getting into the back of my van. It's on your map. I wish it was in your car already. Go, 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 go. Play, playing some Rayman 3, aren't we, Jez? <laughs> Guess it's my turn again. Yay, adulthood. I'm gonna go out and board. I mean, it was this way in Carello. Hello. Alright Dan. Yeah you. Mm. Nice sunny day, a few drinks. Mm. If I'm to take anything away from today, if you're bored, go outside. Jimmy Stewart, why are you watching me from that computer screen I have there? A noteworthy topic to talk about is Rear Window by Alfred Hitchcock. The film does make you think though, I mean we've all got our own little lives trapped within our own little bubbles. I mean, how much are we supposed to see of other people and how much should just remain behind closed doors. Some food for thought, I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea. Apparently according to Wizzy, this is too bright. <laughs> and now, for a complete change in tone. Where am I going with my life? I have no fucking clue. After this year, I won't be in college anymore. My life is entirely in my hands. Have you been filming this entire thing, you bastard? No, I haven't actually. I've just started now. Oh, that's all right then. The new Star Wars trailer came out. Very hyped for it. Anywho, see you guys tomorrow when Doctor Who Series 10 Episode 1, the motherfucking pilot is on. Boy! Yeah. Isn't it? No! Stop it! It's Doctor Who time. Okay, that was fucking amazing. I just love everything that they did with the actual episode. The Doctor worked. Nardole fucking worked. He's sassy as shit now. <laughs> wrong with you? Dude. <laughs> you know where the lines are! Oh, it's not it. <laughs> we got a single scene done. I haven't really done that much today, apart from read Doctor Who novels and just basically relax. I don't really have much to talk about in this video. Today's not going to be a fun video. The short answer is I'm feeling a little bit down at the moment. You know, why start a video diary if you're not going to be honest about how you're feeling at the moment? But uh, it won't always be like this. It's just 
I need to get it out. Got the bag. I've also got one of those new pound coins, which are pretty weird. There's like mini two pound coins. Oh yeah, the clock's still busted. Pretty good. Well, um, you know, we're gonna find Owen. Hmm. Went to Wetherspoon, uh, met a couple of Megan's friends. Hello, I'm Jake Nixon. Yeah. Ethan, after hand. Okay, so I thought Smile was a pretty decent episode. Definitely better than In the Forest of the Night, which isn't really hard to do if you're a competent writer, which Frank Control Boyce, I think he's proven that he is in this instance. I had an eye test, and I need these now. I guess not. Giant <laughs> robot. Whoa, yeah, we got it. Okay, uh, I need some more of these. I might go out and... That's, ooh, that's cool. This is not a sight you want to behold, is it, Alan? No. He does look very happy, though, doesn't he? We're back home! Hi, dog! Will Smith! Alan! That's a dagger. I will, because I'm having to go at Harry for not knowing what, who fucking the hell is that. I'll put on Chelsea dagger. <laughs> Well, today we completely went to park. PayPal seems to have been laundering money for the past couple months. Not true. I just got paid quite a lot. What's Pokemon? What's Pokemon Dash? <laughs> Watching last week. What? Happy for to have a suck on my dick. I think to top off the cliche, I should go get some vodka or something to put in this, but we don't know now. This is ample parking right here. Ample parking. The Superman gun. Fucking help me! The world is behind it. Where's my money gone? <laughs> Breakfast killed me. Having a team dynamic at such a young age is probably not the greatest idea. It would be it'd definitely be an experience to go down there and, you know, and work with them. It's, I mean, a professional environment. Me and Mr. Megan's like family, literally in my village. So yeah, they, they all seem very nice. Um, I even got complimented, which is a new thing. I needed this. I really did. I needed it. Okay, I fucking love the direction that they're going in in series 10. Take this as you will, Nicholas Burns, but you play a fantastic piece of shit in this episode. Or should I say, a fantastic piece of shit. Traitor! Kill me. <laughs> it's just dawned on me that the entire episode is about preventing the creation of flammable alien shit. Join me next week where I'll be reviewing Knock Knock by Doctor Who newcomer Mike Barlett. April proved that we were all settling in. Some people got to revitalise their old childhoods. People got to meet together. Filming days were on the rise. And Harry seemed quite happy with the way that Doctor Who's going. Overall, it's been a bumpy month, but it's been slowly steadying itself out over the course of time. Now let's see what May brings us.